Yeah, this is just pretty. Oh yeah, guys, this is, <laughs> this is nice. All right, welcome back everybody. I have got to say, I'm pretty excited today. And I'm not just excited because of the part in this box itself, but I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of excited because of the way this all came together. So just a quick recap for those of you who might be new to the channel. A few videos back, we went to start on our twin turbo build for uh, Project Chaos Theory, our third gen Camaro. And uh, we figured out that we weren't gonna be able to do it the way we originally planned. So Ray came over and we kind of figured out a different way to mount the turbos and everything. Well, in the process, we also decided we were gonna need to relocate the radiator forward a few inches to give us some clearance for the turbos. Well, um, I decided at that point, I needed to try to get a slightly smaller radiator, and it just so happens that Alloy Works had reached out to me about a week earlier in an email and asked me to uh, do a product review on one of their radiator slash cooling fan setups. So it, it kind of fell in my lap. We were able to get a radiator that hopefully is going to fit our needs. And uh, you know, I get to make this rate this uh, this little review video for you guys and show you this this radiator. And um, I do want to say this video is just going to be an unboxing and kind of an overview of the radiator. Uh, I'll tell you guys, you know, what I know about it. We'll look at the welds and stuff like that on it. Uh, and in an upcoming video, you're going to see us do a little bit of uh, fabrication work on Chaos Theory and install this radiator. So uh, I do want to say, you know, this radiator is not for a third gen Camaro. I actually went with a radiator for a, I believe it's an 84 through 90 Corvette. Um, the outlets are in the same place, but the radiator is supposed to be uh, two inches shorter and about two inches narrower than the radiator, um, the factory third gen radiator. So I'm hoping that's going to be enough to let us push it forward a little bit and gain the extra clearance we need. So we'll go ahead and get started on this, uh, this unboxing and review. And uh, I want to go ahead and say right off the bat, uh, a little negative point as you can see here we have holes in this box and these holes actually correspond with the motors of the cooling fan so uh, I got to go ahead and say uh, you know without even opening it uh, I think they need to do a little work on their packaging uh, as far as you know the way they ship these um, maybe put some foam or some cardboard packing in there uh, so that stuff like this doesn't happen because we all know it doesn't matter who you ship with nowadays They are going to beat the tar out of whatever uh, Whatever you ship with them. So we're just gonna hope that there's no physical damage, but you know If there is some physical damage, then uh, at least we got done video, right? So let's go ahead and uh, get this puppy open See what we got. Hopefully we got a nice aluminum radiator and cooling fans and shroud. And I believe they even, with this package, they send a kit uh, with a little thermostatic switch to turn the fans on and off if you want to use that. I probably won't. I'll probably be using the Holly to do all that. But uh, yeah, that's what we're expecting. Well, I do want to say they've got it packaged really good. It looks like top to bottom, uh, just not so good on the flat surfaces. All right, so we'll start off with our little package here. Um, this is going to be your thermostat switch to trigger the relays to turn them on and off. Uh, this is supposed to be a 3 8 thread, which if I decide to use this, would work out good because you guys know I always drill and tap the passenger side head for three-eighths 
uh, NPT on the on every LS swap I do. All right, and then we've got you know your connectors and fuse, and right here's your little wiring harness and your relay. So you got a fuse holder, relay, hot wire, trigger wire, ground wire. You guys know how to hook up relays. If you don't, you need to watch more of my videos. So that's all good. That's included with this. Now we'll go ahead and uh, try to get our box insulation out of the way. This looks pretty nice. Out of the bag with you. Ah. Okay. Yeah, this is just pretty. Oh yeah, guys, this is <laughs> this is nice. Even the the billet radiator cap here. Wow. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about what we got here, guys. Uh, we have a solid aluminum. This is a four core radiator, and I want to say right now, Alloy Works. They sell radiators for just about anything you can think of guys and when i say anything i mean they've even got uh, aluminum radiators for motorcycles you know like high boosts things like that um obviously they sell these these shrouds and cooling fans as well uh they also sell really nice billet or not billet but aluminum uh overflow tanks and uh again this particular setup is made for a 84 through 90 corvette um, we're going to be using this in our 1990 third gen Camaro Chaos Theory. Now I'm going to take the camera off the stand because I want to show you guys some of these welds. And one thing I want to point out is I'm pretty sure this is all hand welded because the welds look pretty good, um, but they're obviously not from a machine. You know, you can you can tell someone's actually welded this. It was not machine welded, so. Um, to some some of you guys that might be a good thing some of you it might be a bad thing um, I personally think it's a good thing I would rather things be hand welded uh, people tend to pay more attention to stuff when they're doing it by hand so let me give you a closer look here you can see the welds there I mean they're pretty thick guys I think uh, <laughs> this is a pretty nice unit I'm not even going to lie I mean it's pretty much like any all aluminum racing radiator I've ever seen. Uh, the factory radiator, I think, is actually a two core. This is a four core. Uh, they also sell three core radiators. Uh, guys, I will post a link to this radiator uh, in the description of this video, and this will take you to Alloy Works website. And from there, you know, you can check out all the other radiators they have. But you see, you've got this, this nice fan shroud here with dual. I want to say these are uh, dual 10 inch fans. Now I don't have nothing in the uh, nothing in their ad online tells you about the CFM of these fans. Uh, but this design of fan, I don't know. I'm trying to get you a good look. Uh, like this blade design, this type of fan, they usually flow around a thousand to you know 1200 CFM each is what I generally see for 10 inch fans. You know, with this type of configuration. So we're probably looking at, you know, probably around 2,000 to 2,500 uh, CFM of flow from these fans overall. And again, while we will not be testing them in this video, this is just kind of an unboxing and a first look. Um, you know, if you guys are subscribed to the channel, you'll see this thing put to work in upcoming videos, uh, especially with the twin turbos in front of it. So we go over here, we got a nice billet aluminum uh, radiator cap you can see it's your pressure relief I have no idea what the relief pressure is on this cap uh, it doesn't state that either but you can take a look inside here at what's going on everything looks really good I don't know if you guys can really see it on camera but yeah everything looks nice in there nice and clean uh, this particular radiator does have the transmission cooler built in we will be using that initially but um i do plan to run a standalone cooler at the back of the car so uh, sooner or later we'll just be plugging all these up over here on this side remove a plug so we can kind of look in there a little bit see if i don't know if my light's going to do any good but 
I'm just kind of looking around, guys. Checking the welds, looking for cracks. So far, I'm not seeing anything. And, and something I was really worried about is you can see the fan here has took a pretty hard hit where it poked through the box. Uh, this one took a little one too. So uh, I'm, I was worried that maybe it might have cracked a weld or something. I mean, I don't know how <coughs> UPS, <laughs> I don't know uh, how they manhandled this thing. So that's something I always worry about with parts like this with a lot of welds. We'll flip it over here. Take a look at the fins. Everything looks good. We got maybe one or two little dented fins. Not a huge deal. Uh, this radiator is supposedly uh, 35. I think it said 35 to 45% more efficient than a stock radiator. And it actually actually has uh, extra capacity too, coolant capacity. So that probably helps add to the efficiency of it. You know, if you can hold more coolant, uh, you know, the cooling system is going to be able to work a little better. So, like I said, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this, guys. I can't wait to get it put in. Uh, Ray is actually coming over this weekend, and I think we're going to go ahead and try to get everything fabbed up and get this installed in Chaos Theory back there. So, be on the lookout for that video in the next couple days, hopefully. Now, like I showed you guys, this did come with the parts to hook it up to its own little standalone uh, thermostatic switch and all you would do is screw the little thermostatic switch into you know i would prefer to put it in the in a cylinder head you'd screw it in there wire it to the relay the relay will turn these fans on uh alternately you know like in uh if you're using a stock pcm uh stock ls pcms give you the ability to control these fans independently so you could have one turn on at a certain temp and the other one turn on if it gets hotter than that uh, i'm going to be using the holly and i'm just going to be kicking them both on at the same time you know at a, at a certain temperature i forget what i've got it set at currently but um somewhere down the road the thermos or the thermostatic switch that comes with it is on at 180 off at 165 so you would really need to run a 160 degree thermostat to use this for everything to work properly if you run any higher of a temp than that and you use the setup that they send you with these radiators um the fans are never going to kick off because you know your thermostat's never going to let the engine get cool enough for the fans to kick off so keep that in mind if you decide to buy one of these um to use the kit that they send with it uh you will need a 160 degree thermostat in your vehicle something else i'm really happy with is on the website it shows kind of like a cheap you know cheesy looking little uh radiator cap but it does come with this billet cap that i pointed out earlier guys so uh, i don't know what else to say i mean i'm pretty happy with it i can't wait to get this thing put in myself uh now we weren't having any issues with the car running hot uh before on the nitrous setup uh generally you know when you add the turbos into the mix uh you know temperatures tend to want to climb a little bit i don't think we're going to have any trouble with this thing um i'm looking forward to getting it put in leak testing it we will do that in the next video uh we'll get this installed in chaos theory go ahead and get you know the cooling system filled up maybe take it for a drive pressurize everything and uh see what happens at that point you know we'll also be hooking up all of our fittings and everything so uh, i'll be able to tell you if everything's you know all the threads and everything uh are cut the way they should be and i don't i don't see a problem guys the threads look like they're cut pretty clean in these transmission cooler holes here so i don't think we're going to have any problem got our little pet cock down here and it's actually a nice brass pet cock too it's not you know some plastic flimsy piece of crap um <sighs> honestly i'm i'm pretty impressed with the quality uh, I don't want to quote you guys a price because I don't know when you're going to be watching this video. It could be, you know, the day after I make it. It could be two years from now and prices do fluctuate. But I'll say these are priced very, very well on their website. And uh, I believe they're also going to be giving me a discount code for either 20 or 25% off. I'm not sure which. 
but I think the code is going to be BLG, like Bad Luck Garage, uh, BLG Deal. So uh, I'll put the code down in the uh, description of the video along with the link to this part. Uh, keep your eyes open for the next video where we get this thing installed in Chaos Theory and try it out and uh, get out in the garage, get something done, and I'll see you next time here on Bad Luck Garage.